You know what? I want to talk to a racist. Oh, no. You knew I was coming. I didn't know you were coming. I thought you might be dead by now. No, no, because no. That your, was your dream. Your city. Yeah, well, unfortunately. If, you, hey, if, you're, if you're whittled yeah. down to fat jokes, baby, then you're just done. <laughs> you're no, just officially just done. Started. You know, no, I got I got to basically just ask it's you a question. It's pretty hot out here, don't you think? Yeah, well, no, I thought I was supposed to be asking you the questions. <laughs> what, who you're supposed to be asking? Well, that was the sign you were just wearing. He, he wants was, to talk to a racist. I talking. want to talk to a racist. This is a so I'm not. So well, well, you well, to, I'm up to wondering why. I, I've been wanting to ask you this. How did you get Tila Tequila to do your um, com conference on in November in D.C.? Ask her. That is a weird woman, and she got you, who believes that black people are genetically inferior, you want to play this whole UJ, yeah, stop lying, you stop lying, you push that HBD crap all the time. Oh yeah, she's an identitarian. Also known as a white supremacist, even though she's not white. Wait, is she really? Yeah. Yes. Neo Nazi, she's all of that crap. She's very genuine. She's a great woman. Do and not. She's not. And in, do not mess the identitarian crap. That's his line. That's yeah, what he wants to call it. himself because he doesn't want to be called a racist. She. Uh, she obviously. She's obviously not white. But I think she agrees with us in terms of Trump being good for a lot of different people in America. And I think she respects uh, European identitarians. And so I think she's a she's an ally of color. Is how I describe. Do you think that Trump is the best candidate, or do you? Do you? Yeah, totally. Do you? All, I think. So I, do, I can't speak for. Her. Is there another candidate out there who's not? Uh, not I mean, I mean, like really, really, like like a low-level candidate who you think be better for your movement than Trump? Not really. I mean, it's it's interesting that it's so top-down. Uh, I mean, there, there's some good people out there that might be, you know, good low-level uh -huh. legislators on immigration or something. But the thing is, in terms, it's not just about policy. It's about emotions and 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 uh, it's about power certainly. But it's about emotions and it's about like giving us a sense of ourselves. And so it is top down. I might go to a cocktail party. I do enjoy talking with you. Well, unfortunately, I got one more question. I got to ask you. Okay. Why is it you had an article on your old blog, Alternative Right? Do you actually believe in that call for black genocide? No. That, Colin put that out. He was your I boy. Did not write that. He's not my boy. Secondly, that article, you're mi totally misrepresenting it. Oh, no. Well, 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 how can I misrepresent Look, should there be a Darryl, black genocide? Come on, man. I mean, it I, shouldn't even be a question. Go on. Go on. That article was a massive joke. It wasn't you're funny. Under, it, I kind of agree. It wasn't but funny. It's, not, it's just like, talk to me about things I say or I publish. Well, you published that. That was in your on your blog before you got rid of that blog and started this Radix crap. So I am talking to you about that. Why you're just bringing up stuff. I'm not going to talk. No, about no, no, man. I mean, you came it was out a total here. Mistake. You, yes, it was. I am, it was. Me and it's it was. Me. It's just like going on Rolling Mountain that other the other day. That but that's another story. I love doing that. I like those guys. They were. <laughs> he they made you look me. bad on that in immigration. Not really. When he told, when he reminded you that Europeans were immigrants too, and you just went baba 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 baba. <laughs> what do you think? I, I thought don't that was the that? funniest you thing think in the I world. I don't know that. Yeah. If you don't know that, if you do know that, then you knew that it was coming and you also knew that you're wrong in the approaches that why you take. Why am I wrong? I, it, because European, this country is not just yours. They're That's European why. immigrants. They're not, they're, and they're different We're all here. Immigrants. We're all here now. This country is going to change and not for the better for you because you want to pick this fight against that's everybody that's not that white. you say that, Daryl. I don't think you're going to, I think you might be creating alt-rightists as we speak by saying that. And they will fall with you. They'll I fall. promise you. What does that mean? They what do you will mean fall by that, Daryl? I mean, they will not. white they, genocide? No, I'm not calling for white genocide, but I am calling for the alt-right to the fall, fall, to drop dead. Yes, yeah. Well, you're not Just like any other Nazi. Just like die. any other Nazi. We're going to die in your mind. You're not being not, very successful because we're growing. We're actually well, that's what the Klan told me like 20 years ago. When oh, they, I mean, every every neo-Nazi that has ever spoken to me always said white people are waking up and they're growing. And yet, we don't see it. You know why? Because it's not true. It didn't work back in the day. Didn't work with Pat Buchanan. Didn't work with Jared Taylor. Didn't work We're gonna have to over go and over and over again. Yeah, the process has failed. No, you keep not. trying to do the same intense. old thing that people keep rejecting. Darryl, and if need... you have to have an Asian woman, black people come to your conferences, we don't need. need you cannot Asian. promote Europeanism when you have people that look like me. The conservatives in this country are looking more 
more and more like me, no, sounding really. more and more. Well, they're why are you becoming whiter and whiter as they, okay, the Republican like, Party becomes whiter and whiter year by year? It doesn't seem to be that way if you got yeah, folks like Marco looking, Rubio around. Up on the stage. They almost made. They was pushing for him to be president. He's Besides effectively this Trump, white. You know. Trump hail Mary. Uh, he's effectively Cuban. Effectively <laughs> Cuban? What does that even mean? It means he's Cuban. Why are you yelling? <laughs> because you're funny, and I want to make sure everybody hears it. <laughs> Do you understand the difference between a nation state and a race? Is that I understand the difference. Then why are you screaming? So why you complain? So you do realize that European is I don't like Marco Rubio. First, and I know that's the point. <laughs> That okay. is the point. You seem to just change your argument every time. No, no, no. I'm pretty much on course, I want you to man. be like, what do you think is going to happen to the alt-right, Jerry? I already what's know gonna what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Here Are we going to fall? Oh, really? What's <laughs> yes, going to happen? It's going to be like 45? We all know it's going to be pretty much. We all know what's going to happen? Yeah, it's going to be pretty, much. Yeah, pretty, much. Gonna be pretty gonna, much like We're going to all die. No, no. Let me take that back. It's not going to be like 45 because you're not even going to get that far. That's right. That's right. You'll be lucky if it's 1965 for you guys. I mean, when you look at all the uh, WP groups that have came along over the past 16 years, they all seem to fall apart. You guys got to sneak around and preach and have your conferences with nom de guerres and, and fake names. Daryl, <laughs> I agree that this movement has not been successful in the post-war period. That's clear. We've had some great individuals, but uh -huh. as a mass movement, we have not accomplished what we wanted to. Conservative, the conservative movement has accomplished quite a bit. They're a billion dollar enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, an enterprise and they're a movement I don't agree with much of what they say. They've had their day. They are going down as a movement. They have no legitimacy. They have no new ideas. It's just a bunch of old farts. We're going but to have our day. We are, we are young. We are more powerful. We're rising. You but can say that I'm wrong and I don't care. Ironically, here's what makes you it. wrong. You have, you have to basically embrace diversity to advance yourself. No, Milo is a gay about. Jewish man that Milo's brags about. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm just giving this an example because he embraces the alt right. Yeah. For what, for lack of a better term. By the way, alt right is his term. It's not really. They're neo Nazis and racists, even though they want to don't want to call themselves that. But it doesn't exactly work politically. So they give themselves cute names like alt right, identitarian, race realist, racialist. Party. But anyway, oh. yeah, I think you need a drink after all this. No, it's just kind of boring. <laughs> Luckily, I don't drink, so I don't. I'm pretty cool on this. Did you ever speak at American Renaissance? Yeah. Yeah, he speaks all the time at American Renaissance yeah. when I'm not shutting him down. <laughs> yeah, you've been really successful. Well, you're hiding in the woods in Nashville. I have been pretty Mike, successful at that. That's a great you place when to you, do a conference. I do conferences. You know what? In actually, Washington. I do like that. Yeah, yeah. But um, you see yeah, how much have you the been opposition successful is shutting me down. You see how much that's been growing the opposition now. You no, saw what I happened at CPAC. It. You were a bunch of losers. You saw a whole. Screen, you saw more geez. people at CPAC. Our our our, our 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 attendance grows by. And so every does year. ours. It's only oh, a matter of time what, before you four? drop. You can't even go into Hungary to hate you so much. <laughs> And that so, I means mean, we're doing something right. No, it means you're doing something that is annoying everyone, and they don't want you to do it in that country. It's amazing to me have how you, you want to invade. Country? Huh? Have you been banned from a country? No, I've no, never been banned from a you, country. You were basically the shock troops of the establishment. You have the Wow, exact same, I'm a shock troop to the establishment. The amazing how things change. You have the same because there will be no way I could have ever been the establishment just five years ago. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. There is no establishment here. You're more of an establishment multimillionaire than I am. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm not really part of the establishment. You're, You're more of the establishment. You started in the establishment. You was in the beltway until they realized that you was a little bit poisonous, and then they kicked you to the curb. You're much more of the establishment than I ever was. That's why you can get people like Tila Tequila to come to your events, to perform at your events. I think it's the funniest thing in the world. It is kind of funny. It's downright comical. You know I'm going to be there, right? You'll fail to shut us down. like you. No, no, no. Now I'm at the point where whatever happens, whatever Whatever happens, happens. If it doesn't shut down, so be it. So I'll be just it. keep yeah, going to the next again. one and the next one and Get the next life, one Darryl. while you guys keep saying that you're growing and growing and growing life, while Darryl. pretending that you are. Nice we food. literally are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I like nice things. Go to your cocktail meeting. Go, go, go get your oh, drink serious, on. Man. Go get your drink 
on. Just go ahead and do what you gotta do. I wanna go to this cocktail party. It sounds Drink like up, that. baby. Just do Who's your thing. Cocktail party? I can't tell. See, he can't yeah. even tell. Yeah. He can't even tell. Me. I need to go. He can't even tell you who they are because he knows what will happen. No, no. I know who they are. Yeah. No, we, we know who they are, but he cannot say by name right. because he knows that caused them damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gonna wanna drink after this. <laughs> How long have you been harassing him? For about five, six years. <laughs> no, really? Yeah. Where? I actually went to a couple of his conferences. <laughs> his name is Dick Spencer. Um, he's a he's a guy who um, was in the Washington establishment at one time. He, he, him and his mom basically are raising money for people like Ron Paul and stuff like that. He's out of Montana. He, he started here with uh, Richard Spencer. His real name is Richard Spencer, but. Uh, but basically, he's a, he's one of the latest in the um, series of white supremacists in this day and age. White supremacists? Oh, he's yeah. Very much white supremacist. yeah. He's just telling us about how we need to make a whites-only country. <laughs> and he also has something in his I'll, I'll blog where he's now saying it's a joke we call for black not, genocide. Yeah, women also should not have any leadership roles because they're uh, like intellectually Whatever inferior. reason. Whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. reason. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to have a, a white men-only country. Even Utah was you talk. Let's call him Pizzetti. I'm not going there. <laughs> so he's a white supremacist. I've never. Uh, yeah, he was running around. <laughs> he's going to really hate. Talk to a racist. He's really going to hate my. Uh, uh, my future plans. He doesn't know this. Huh? Are you posting this on, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, he knows that. He knows that. <laughs> 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 Your thong sweating, boys. <laughs> yeah, now now he's saying that his that the article he posted about black genocide was a joke. Yeah, it was real funny. It was downright comical. <laughs> Uh -huh. Just out of curiosity, Richard, you're not a delegate, are you? <laughs> He's out of Montana right now. He lives in White Fish. You realize this cat used to be a I believe it. His, I mean, he published it. His partner, who also contributed to the blog and still owns it now, his name is Colin Liddell. They wrote an article um, about black genocide. Look up, um, look up alternative right. Yeah. yeah. You'll probably see an article written by me about him. What's your name? My name is Daryl. Daryl Lamont Jenkins. Daryl Lamont Jenkins. So whenever you want to talk to a white racist again, um, I, 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 I'll be here. You know, I'll be back. Ask Matt. I'm showing up. Other people, though. No, but like well, you're gonna have to talk to me too. I don't. I don't have to. Yeah, but you're gonna have to deal with me too. That wouldn't you? That wouldn't. Like really. And why is your hair cut like Ernest Rom's? <laughs> When, no, I, I, I got a kick out of that. When I started seeing you, I said, man, that, that haircut looked familiar. And then I started looking at the old Nazi SA yeah, pictures. And it's like Ernest Rom. I was like, oh, dear God. I'm a fan of Mac Lamore. Now, don't give him Mac Lamore. Be happy that he just said that. I'm glad he just said that. You, you don't need to know who Mac Lamore is. Just leave him alone. He's, he's down with people like me. He's a rapper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not really my scene, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, I'm just really hot. See, I know your butt's wet. That's what all that hate do. All the hate working out. Should give you one of my hate ass consequences bumper stickers. See you later, sweaty ass. Oh, wait a minute, who's the girl that he's with? I told you before, if you're gonna come up with fat jokes and that's all you got, we've already won. I mean, frankly, yeah, I know, thought you could do better than that. Fat jokes are just so easy. I'm not sure of course, because I'm fat. Who gives yeah. a crap? He's a white supremacist that He's I miss. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Thanks so. for an that's 80 year old man who has an IQ of Okay, now, now he's dissing. Okay, let me get this straight. My education against yours any day. Really? Any day. Any day. So we got him dissing you because you're old, dissing me because I'm fat. Doctorate degree. And what? Douchebagger? How old are you? 
But I'll, I'll match it. I'll, I'll take an IQ test against you any day. Oh, you think Damn, I, I, thought I, I thought I was leaving. I thought I was leaving. I'll shoot him out of this. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Tell Daryl that. Oh, yeah. 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 What's yeah. that again? Old folks home, dude. He believes yeah, you in can IQ. hang out with some other liberal races right there. No, but I just oh, believe that your eugenics day. routine is <laughs> junk. It's junk. I, and I thought you guys said oh, you weren't really about that. And yeah, that's what he was trying to tell me. Racist, yeah. Oh, really? What's, what are you going to do? Are you going to do this? Oh, gonna do this? Oh, gonna we do don't have to do much. We've already oh, done it. What are we doing? Yeah. Well, you're putting yourself... You're back in the Civil War days. You still oh, think yeah, that's what we are. white people are he's right. superior. Sure. Yeah, you, yeah he's, you he, he, he is right, you know. And, 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 everybody's done, and everybody's done with that crap. Yeah, it's time for you to go to your cocktail meeting again. Oh, man, are they walking right into Antifa? Oh, shit. I guess I'm going to have to let people know about that. <laughs> oh, boy, this is going to be fun. La 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 la.